Hello, my name is Wolfram Gussling, and I am the HMS co-director of the Harvard-MIT Health Sciences and Technology Program. Dr. Emery Brown, the MIT co-director, and I welcome you to the 2020 HST Community Award Ceremony. We are honored to introduce this year's award recipients to the HST community. HST students have a long-standing tradition of conferring a number of annual awards to recognize faculty and other members of the community for exemplary teaching, mentoring, and service. The annual awards are usually presented in person at the HST Spring Dinner, but due to the situation this year, we will continue the celebratory spirit in this virtual format. Each nominator and award recipient has recorded video remarks. Please enjoy. The Irving M. London Teaching Award is given annually to recognize teaching faculty who have made outstanding contributions to the teaching of HST students. The 2020 London Teaching Award will be presented by MD-PhD student RJ Nadig to Dr. Sabina Hildebrandt, an assistant professor of pediatrics at Boston Children's Hospital. Over the course of preclinical education, there are some educators who inspire at a level that goes far beyond the medical knowledge they impart. Sabina Hildebrand is one of those educators. In particular, her capacity to communicate a synthesis of deep anatomical knowledge and the position of that knowledge in the broader social context is truly refreshing. In a world where scientific knowledge and socially conscious humanism are often framed as antagonistic forces, Dr. Hildebrand's intellectual approach is a reminder that this need not be the case. Her lectures on the history of dissection-based anatomical education, reproductive anatomy, and the history of anatomy in Nazi Germany, among others, imparted the urgency of practicing moral reflection as a medical student, as well as the feeling that through our medical education, we can become agents of positive social change. Beyond lectures, I think I can safely speak for my colleagues when I say that many of our fondest memories of anatomy were working with Dr. Hildebrand at the dissection table. With her trademark golden scissors, she revealed the logic of the human body with clarity and conciseness, with an adept mixture of levity and profound respect for the donor's gift. In the course whose mandate is to teach a comically large volume of information, Dr. Hildebrand's methodical approach and clarity of pedagogical vision are all the more impressive. Quite simply, I want to be like Dr. Hildebrandt when I grow up. Like Dr. Hildebrandt, I want to think hard about the social and cultural context of my science. Like Dr. Hildebrandt, I want to be ambitious in the steps I take to further my goals, as she was when she pursued intensive anatomical education to further her research in the history of medicine. Like Dr. Hildebrandt, I want to speak with the force that comes from rigorous study and the clarity that comes from honest reflection. Thank you, Dr. Hildebrand, for making our community a brighter and more thoughtful place. The gifts you give will truly last a lifetime. Dear HST community, students and colleagues, the news of you presenting me with a 2020 Irving M. London Teaching Award comes at a time so strange that it leaves me mostly without words. And you know how rare that is for me. You can imagine how much more this recognition by you means to me right now, even more than it would at other times. I miss you, students, your kindness, especially in sharing your questions, which make me a better educator. I miss you, my colleagues, Trudy, Mohini, Brida, Caitlin, and Lee, colleagues from whom, whose wisdom I learn at all times. I look forward in joy to the day when I will be working with all of you together again in person. For now, our distance is physical, but not social. We remain as the HST community that lives and learns together, exploring the human body and life and death. I thank you with all my heart. The HST Outstanding Teaching Award is awarded to a current HST student who has made preeminent contributions to one or more classes in the HST curriculum through exemplary efforts as a teaching assistant. HST MD student Christopher Dietrich will present the 2020 Student Teaching Award to first year HST MD student and MEMP PhD alumnus, Dr. Brian Chang for his commendable role in HST 090 Cardiovascular Pathophysiology. my 
congratulations to Brian on his winning of the HST Outstanding Teaching Award. It is truly well deserved. I nominated Brian because as I watched him TA our cardiovascular pathophysiology course, I began to doubt whether it was physically possible to do more as a TA. He was excellent and he was everywhere. I want to highlight three qualities that speak to Brian's excellence. First, his organization. I can confirm that yes, he may love making flowcharts more than he loves teaching, but then he's a great teacher because he understands that structure can make all the difference to learning. Second, his dedication. He, at his own volition, developed Friday review sessions to help our class discern and consolidate important points. They are universally loved. And finally, his unwillingness to compromise on rigor. This comes through in his deep care for the material of the class and his explanations of that material. But it also speaks generally to his character and the trust, love, respect he has earned from our class. Congrats, Brian, on this well-deserved award. And once I'm off camera, I'll be celebrating you with a scotch. Thank you all for this wonderful honor. Being able to teach is a major reason I had decided to go into science and medicine in the first place. So it really means a lot to receive this recognition from a community that is full of such excellent educators. I owe a lot to all my mentors and teachers over the years, but I particularly wanted to thank all of the students and the teaching staff in cardiovascular pathophysiology, especially the course directors, Dr. Elzar Elliman and Steve Keller for the opportunity to be involved with such an excellent course. Thank you all once again for this recognition, and I hope all of you remain well and safe. The Seidman Prize for MD Research was established in 2009 by an HST MD alumnus to honor Drs. Christine and Jonathan Seidman for their inspirational mentorship. The prize is given annually to a faculty member for outstanding research mentorship of an HST MD student. The 2020 Seidman Prize for MD Research will be presented by HST MD student Scott Goodwin to Dr. Leo Tsai, Assistant Professor of Radiology at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Hi, my name is Scott Goodwin. I'm a fourth year HST student going into diagnostic radiology. And today I want to help introduce Dr. Leo Sai, who's an MD PhD graduate of the HMS HST program. Uh, he now serves as a diagnostic radiologist and the director of oncologic imaging at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Uh, Dr. Sai is an excellent example of kind of the true physician scientist who's able to combine a very busy clinical practice with also a thriving lab. Uh, and I nominated Dr. Sai for the 2020 Seidman Prize for MD Research Mentorship because he has been an exceptional mentor in multiple areas of my life during medical school. Uh, I think I met Dr. Sai um, not even a semester into medical school and you know, with very little knowledge myself about radiology, Dr. Sai still welcomed me into his lab and invested a significant amount of time and energy kind of helping me to get up to speed and, uh, and then went above and beyond and the first time in my career really let me take the lead on almost every aspect of a project even if I had not done many of those things before. And this really would not have been possible without a significant amount of effort and the generosity and the mentorship of Dr. Sai, um, who was very involved, even came in on nights and weekends on multiple occasions to help out and teach and um, helped run some of the experiments. Um, but Dr. Sai really kind of believed in me and uh, took the time to mentor me throughout the whole process with everything from writing a first author manuscript to presenting at an international conference in Paris. Dr. Sai was always there and always helping. Um, and this really kind of, uh, especially the time that I spent with him and working on this project really became one of the single most valuable learning opportunities for me during all of medical school. Um, but Dr. Sai really didn't even stop there. He served as one of my main sources of career guidance throughout medical school. Uh, especially as be, I became more and more interested in radiology. But he met with me to discuss my application, my personal statement, different programs around the country and how uh, best strategies to apply um, and what would kind of be the best fit for me and my career. Always get, um, really putting my interests first and uh, I really appreciate him doing that. Uh, so Dr. Sai 
truly kind of in conclusion is one of the most amazing mentors that I've ever had. And I do owe many of my accomplishments during medical school to his guidance and his kind of unwavering belief. Uh, and he has and definitely will continue to be a role model for, ha role model for how I would like to shape my career uh, and many aspects of my life as well. And I hope to one day be able to kind of emulate his style of mentorship to help other students and trainees in the same way that he's done for me. Very deserving of this award. Hi everybody. I hope this uh, message finds you all safe. Uh, I wanted to take uh, some time to thank the HSD Awards Committee for this prize. It's a, uh, a real honor for me uh, and it's been a real bright spot given all that's been going on these past couple of weeks. Um, I also wanted to thank Scott Goodwin uh, for his uh, nomination and um, for all of the amazing work that he's done in our lab. Um, it's been a real pleasure being his advisor um, and seeing him uh, pick up a project from the very beginning and seeing it all the way through um, uh, publication. And um, equally thrilling to me is, uh, is uh, seeing him match at his uh, first choice uh, residency program at Duke. Uh, so congratulations. And um, I also wanted to extend my congratulations to uh, all of the uh, HST graduates this year. And uh, I really hope that uh, we'll have the opportunity uh, to celebrate in person uh, uh, soon. So thanks again and uh, be safe everybody. The Thomas A. McMahon Mentoring Award, established in 1999, is presented annually to the person who, through the warmth of his or her personality, inspires and nurtures HSD students in their scientific and personal growth and through honest advice and generosity to all students and colleagues, sets an admirable example of excellence in mentoring. The 2020 McMahon Mentoring Award will be presented by MEMP PhD student Shoshana Das to Dr. Ellen Roche, Assistant Professor in the Institute for Medical Engineering and Science and the Department of Mechanical Engineering at MIT. It's my pleasure to present Dr. Ellen Roche with the Thomas A. McMahon Mentoring Award. Ellen joined the HST community almost three years ago, beginning the Therapeutic Technology Design and Development Lab. The primary focus of her work is to develop exciting new medical device technologies. Since joining HST, she's been the faculty to advisor to a number of HST students, and for the last two years, an instructor for the HST 100 Respiratory Pathophysiology class. She's been an active faculty member, member within the HST community. I first met Ellen when I began running the HST Women's Group. We were hoping to engage faculty in our events to create a stronger community between the women of HST. Ellen has been one of our most engaged faculty members, attending numerous events and engaging with students across all years and providing guidance from her experiences. When I began looking for committee members for my thesis, I was very excited that Ellen's expertise matched with my own research. I was really excited for the chance to work with an enthusiastic mentor and knew having her on my committee would not only help my research, but also my own professional and personal development. I always leave my meetings with Ellen with interesting new ideas for directions, constructive feedback, and most importantly, feeling positive about the work I've done. I believe Ellen is especially deserving of this award because of the example she sets for many students who are looking to become junior faculty. Maintaining excellence in her lab while maintaining excellent mentorship for her students and for all the students in the community. The HST community is very happy to have her. So congratulations, Ellen, and thank you for all that you do. Hi all, my name is Ellen Roach, and I'm humbled and honored to receive the 2020 Thomas A. McMahon Mentoring Award from the HST Community Awards Committee. I am endlessly grateful to the nominators and the selectors for this honor. It has been a true pleasure to mentor HST students and trainees since I joined the HST community in 2017. You are some of the brightest minds I've encountered, and I've learned so much from engaging with you, learning about your goals and aspirations, and serving and doing my best to provide you with guidance and advice. I have really enjoyed serving on the admissions committee for the MEMP program, a multiple pieces committee, 
uh, teaching HST 100, partaking in oral qualifying exams, and of course, mentoring my own academic advisees, both HST MD students, and of course, MEMS students. This is a special community that we have, and I am truly grateful to have the opportunity to be a part of it. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this award, and I will continue to serve you and to serve the community to the best of my ability. I look forward to being back on campus at MIT and HMS and seeing you all soon. Thank you. Established in 2019 to honor the contributions of HST faculty member and former HST director, Dr. Roger Mark, two Roger G. Mark Service Awards are presented annually to current members of the HST community who embody excellence through actions that promote HST community values and or ideals. The 2020 Roger G. Mark Service Award to a faculty member will be presented by HST MD PhD students Catherine Evans and Nicole Gillette to Dr. Mohini Luxman, lecturer on neurobiology at Harvard Medical School. The Roger G. Mark Service Award is presented annually to current members of the HST community who embody excellence through actions or deeds that promote HST community values and ideals. Without a doubt, this year's recipient has done all of this and therefore we are thrilled to present the 2020 Roger G. Mark Service Award to Dr. Mohini Lechman. She is truly involved throughout the entire HST experience and brings her unique energy to so many aspects of our community. Our classmates say that Mohini deserves this award because she is kind, wise, and generous, and that she is involved from day one of the student experience. A warm and helpful presence throughout the foundational anatomy course, she is always willing to stay late to help students learn, and is so helpful in addressing student concerns in the often emotionally challenging experience of dissection. She also single-handedly ensures that an entire generation of HST physicians will never forget about the importance of the suboccipital triangle. Beyond her role as an instructor, Mohini is involved in all aspects of the HST experience. She is a frequent attender of our HST happy hours, HST women's group dinners, HMS Halloween parties, and even revisit where she helps prospective students get a sense of the kind of instruction they can expect during their first year of medical school. She also seems to be on top of everybody's research projects and can be regularly found at thesis defenses. Mohini volunteers to be a judge for the annual Society Olympics each year and has a historical collection of themed t-shirts to prove it. She doesn't, it doesn't feel like an HST event unless Mohini is there, and we have all benefited from her extensive photographic documentation from HST events over the years. We can't think of a better recipient for this award, and so congrats, Mohini. Congrats! Thank you to the HST Community Awards Committee for the Roger Mark Outstanding Service Award. It is a great honor to be the 2020 recipient. Thank you very much. I inherited the educator gene from both parents who were warm, caring, and well-respected educators in their own right. During my training as an anatomist at Aberdeen University in Scotland, I was in the same dissection room as my smart, talented and late brother, Dinesh. It was during our year-long anatomy course that I developed the ability to assist him and his fellow medical school classmates with an anatomical dissections, review of our daily anatomy lectures, and discussions on emerging topics in biomedical research. I truly enjoyed lending support during those long days. I believe it was this experience that led me during my postdoctoral research at HMS to teach anatomy and other subjects for which I was abundantly acknowledged and to my current role as HST anatomy faculty. Each year I look forward to teaching HST anatomy with, alongside my colleagues Lee, Trudy, Breda and Sabina. Personally, it is a unique and memorable opportunity working with and getting to know such extraordinary and multi-talented students such as yourselves. I enjoy watching you mature in the anatomy setting and beyond. 
I never tire of sharing my anatomy knowledge with you and I try to infect you with my passion for anatomy. But above all, it is my ability to mentor students that I value most. I believe that a good teacher is generous with their knowledge and their time and they care for the development of their students beyond the classroom and laboratory and this is what I strive to do with all my students. I know you will all impact many lives and do much good and in short measure I will share with your accomplishments. Thank you very much once again. The 2020 Roger G. Mark Service Award for Student will be presented by HST MD PhD student Carla Winter and colleagues to HST MD and MEM PhD student Adam Berger. Hello, HST community. Um, I hope this video finds everyone safe and healthy, and thank you to the organizers of the community awards this year. Even though we find ourselves physically separate from um, one another, I hope through these videos to honor award recipients in lieu of the typical spring dinner, we feel closer to each other during this difficult time. Um, I'm honored to have the opportunity to introduce my friend and colleague, Adam Berger, as a recipient of this year's Roger G. Mark Outstanding Student Service Award in recognition of his outstanding commitment to improving the HST community's values and ideals. Um, I'm sure many, many of you have already had the pleasure of meeting and working with Adam since he joined the HST community in 2017. But for those of you who don't know Adam, um, he's an amazing MD-PhD student currently in his G1 year as a MEMP, um, yay, double HST, and since coming to HMS has devoted countless hours to improving the HST community. Within the HST community itself, Adam has always been a vocal and active member. Adam is a tremendous classmate to have and always has the interest of his fellow classmates in mind. He frequently acts as a liaison between students and HST administration as well as the greater HMS administration. Adam always supports his classmates by lending a listening ear or um, talking things out. And he always, in everything that he does, he has his classmates in mind. Um, within the 2017 entering class itself, a small example of Adam's strong efforts to foster community um, is that he has put together an HST manuscript digest, wherein Adam celebrates our classmates' academic successes by collating and sending out manuscripts written by our classmates as they get published. So um, we are all up to date on the amazing work our classmates have done. More broadly, and probably Adam's biggest um, contribution, is his volunteering um, an immense amount of his time to HMS's reaccreditation um, as, part of, as part of the LCME process. Um, not only is this important for the broader HMS community, um, but Adam's role within this uh, LCME reaccreditation um, was critical for representing the HST voice in the broader HMS community. Currently, um, in the uh, current pandemic, Adam has continued to devote his time and energy to the broader Boston community. He has demonstrated a tremendous amount of selflessness by working at the hospital to um, screen patients for COVID and also has recently um, started volunteering at Boston Healthcare for the Homeless to screen the homeless population. Um, so I think, or I hope through all of this, you see um, that Adam has really embodied HST's ideals and values as a community. I'm so proud to call Adam not only a colleague, but a friend. Adam, thank you so much for all you have done for the HST community. You always make the HST community feel heard. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Thank, thank you, Adam. <laughs> Congrats, Adam. Thanks so much for being such an incredible leader and representative of our HST community. I'm so proud to be able to call you a friend and a colleague. Thank you, Adam. Adam, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything you do to make HST a better place. Congratulations, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Congratulations, Adam. So happy for you. I can't imagine anyone 
more well deserving of a service award for our community. You do so much for us all the time and we're so appreciative. We're so lucky to have you as a member of our community and congrats again. Sorry I can't be there with you in person, but hope you know we're thinking of you and wishing you well. Thank you, Adam. You're such an inspiration to all of us. Thanks, Adam. Adam, congratulations. Uh, you so totally uh, represent the best parts of HST and you've made the community uh, be really a true family for all of us. Uh, I wish I could be there to congratulate you in person, but I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, Adam, congratulations and thanks for all that you do uh, for us and our community. And last but not least, never change. Adam, it comes as no surprise that you're the perfect person for this award. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam. Adam, thank you for everything you do for HST. You make our community strong. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam, for all your hard work and dedication to this community. It means a lot. Thanks, Bergman. Since Adam's in the house, I have to be very quiet. Thank you, Adam. I'm so honored to win the 2020 Raju G. Mark Outstanding Student Service Award. It's been such a privilege to be a part of this community of innovators. Admittedly, when I applied to MDPhD programs, I was a little bit intimidated by the names of both Harvard and MIT attached to HST and the long pedigree of extremely successful physicians, scientists, engineers, astronauts, public service workers, writers, medical school deans, etc. And what I've learned during my three years in HST so far is that the people in this community are spectacular not only at what they do, but they are also kind and caring human beings. I've found a community that I truly love being a part of. With so many amazing leaders in HST that are just as deserving of this award as myself, I'm truly humbled to be receiving this award. I thank all of my peers who are doing such amazing work to close blind spots in the HST community and beyond, and I'm always inspired to be the best version of myself that I can be. Especially in these crazy times, I am proud to be a part of this community and hope to continue working to make it even better. Thank you so much to the HST community for this amazing award. Sincere thanks to all who submitted nominations and to the dedicated HST students who volunteered to serve on the 2020 HST Community Awards Committee. Congratulations to all of our 2020 award recipients. We are truly grateful for your ongoing contributions to the HST community.